Hey guys, it's Revix42. Today's a different video than usual. Uh, on my Discord channel, a lot of people have been requesting more expensive teams, like teams that I would usually use, because I'm rich, and I've played this game for almost 500 hours. Oh no, more than 500 hours. Anyways, my channel's usually is about budget teams, but today I'm going to show you not budget team that I use for the arena and it's basically unstoppable uh, here it is um, got speed boost maple um, this one is super special don't ever expect to get this one all you need to do is make sure it has speed boost and evil slash and it will be good enough for you uh, I put the wild card aura on this and this guy is probably at least 100,000 gems uh, with all of my abilities, but you can get him for under 10k with speed boost and evil slash if you were to go and get him. He's 20 starred and he has max stats and speed and power. So his purpose is to attack really fast and stun, charm, freeze the enemies before they have a chance to kill you. And then. Our tank is the Boulder Ogre, but not any Boulder or Ogre. It is the Earthquake Taunt May 2020 Boulder Ogre. So this one's probably going to cost you a pretty penny, 7k at least. Um, and the reason I have it is because he taunts, so he has to be attacked first. He cannot be silenced, which is amazing, and he attacks all enemies by causing an earthquake and stuns them all on attack. So he is just quadruple amazing along with the fact that he has 11,000 health and 2,000 defense is what I invest in um, with a strong armor aura to boost that even more so he never really dies new timeline Kronos is the key to this team uh, these two don't really matter but new timeline is where the money is because he makes all allies time type and then all of those time type allies attack 25% faster and are immune to slow stun and freeze so you're never going to get stunned you never have to worry about that and I use a haste 2 aura on this one and the student magician is really interesting it's not very expensive at all um, but I keep it on here for the open sesame the ailment boost and support mage abilities so whenever he attacks he has a 10% chance to increase all allies power defense and speed by 10% so theoretically if you're going up against level 1000 enemies uh, it's gonna take a long time to kill but each time this guy attacks he has a 1 in 10 chance of making all of your allies stronger and faster so eventually He's going to attack really fast, you're going to get lots of power-ups, and your power will be infinitely large, and you'll be able to kill any level enemy. Making him vulnerable is really nice, because you can kill him faster, and this one synergizes quite nicely with the Maple's wild card, because uh, you want to induce status effects really quickly. I use Speed Boost Aura on this one, so he can attack more often and use the Support Mage. Speed and Power are the stats on him. So yeah, this is my super expensive team. Uh, you can also use Beach Boy, switch him out with the Magician, but I find the Magician to be better, and that will make it even more expensive. This is a 10,000 water conversion, Beach Boy is really good. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at how my expensive team performs. I'm on wave 234. So the team starts out pretty slow, of course. But you'll see as the Magician attacks, everything gets boosted faster and faster. So it's kind of like a ramp um, build. You'll start out slow, but then overwhelm your enemies really quickly. I forgot to mention I'm using a Team Region 1 sword, which is 10,000 gems probably, and a Haste 1 shield, uh, just to make everything attack faster. Yeah, so um, you can see ramping up and now they're dying way faster than they were at the beginning so it doesn't matter oh yeah also mine is unusual so it's really cute it's got the, the music notes and the sparkles and stuff like that 
And so yeah, it ramps up quite quickly and then no matter what level the enemy is, they don't stand a chance because your power just grows infinitely large and you're immune to everything that you should throw at you. 57 seconds on a against level 570 characters is really impressive. Uh, if I were to use the old team that I made before on this, it would take 120 seconds at least. So this is a much faster way, stronger way, and more consistent way of winning arena battles that I use. Um, I can... I've not died with this team yet. They're just so good at ramping up and not giving a poo about what the enemies do. Alright, I'll speed up the rest. 39 seconds. Problem completing wave 235, it took about 5 minutes, which is nothing in the eyes of Battle Coliseum. If you can do a wave every 5 minutes, you're golden. And so that is my expensive team for the Battle Arena, but it works really well. So if you guys want to try and get it, I would recommend it. It's a great thing to save up for, because it returns on its investment quite nicely uh, if I go up to the BP shop. You'll see that I have 4,600 BP, which is almost 10,000 BP worth of gems. So I can make 10,000 gems right now almost if I just sold star pots with it. Um, with a slight alteration of this team, if I put Beach Boy on here, and then I guess this doesn't matter. And I change my weapon to Weakening Gaze, my shield to Haste 2, and then I throw on an aura, the Natural Hunter aura on this guy. We can go to the forest, and I use this as my gem farming team to kill enemies really quickly so we hop into a battle here you'll see they spawn and they're dead so yeah this is my gem team because as soon as the enemy spawns I just kill them instantly the only thing it isn't good for is old mother but I have a different one for that so yeah if you want to spend a hundred thousand gems on a gem team there you go um, I hope you guys liked watching what expensive teams can do. I'll probably make an expensive gold farming team next time. It makes about 100,000 per second. And so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Roblox. Join the Discord. It's in the, the description and on my YouTube banner. And I'll see you there for giveaways and friends. Thanks, guys.